Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another week of Davidson College Basketball on the Bob McKillop Show, presented by Ortho Carolina. I'm John Kilgo. Nice to have you in the audience with us today. And Coach, congratulations to you, number one, on 550 wins, and number two, on your team winning two really good conference games last week. Well, uh, great victory over Duquesne. Another one here at home against Fordham. Uh, I think our toughness is really starting to emerge, and uh, that needs to show up uh, tomorrow as we head to St. Bonaventure. Coach, uh, this everybody wants to be playing their best basketball at the end of the year, but some people aren't. You, your team appears to be playing its best. Would you say that's true, and if so, in what areas? Absolutely true, and it's a tribute to the guys and to our staff. Uh, the guys continue to come to practice to work. They don't come to practice to put in time. They don't come to practice to uh, go through a routine. They truly work to get better, to improve things that they need to improve upon and build their strengths that are already there. So I, I think we are getting better. I, our shooting, our offensive flow, our defensive positioning on and off the ball, uh, improvements in all of those areas. Looking back on last week, with those two conference wins, first at Fordham at home, what did you like about the way Davidson approached that game? I liked our rhythm. Uh, we uh, were faced with uh, a Fordham team that uh, throws a lot of different defenses at you. They primarily played a man-to-man -man defense, but with different uh, looks to that man-to-man, -man, uh, sloughing off some guys, really pressuring other guys. So it was a, a situation in which you could easily lose your flow and rhythm and, and uh, get that broken. And our guys stayed within their attack mode and they stayed within their free-flowing offensive mode. And I thought we got great looks and uh, particularly uh, impressed with the way Kellen Grady took it to the rim. And then he comes uh, to Pittsburgh on Saturday and uh, took another page out of uh, his ability to get to the rim by uh, constantly attacking off the ball screen. Uh, so we, we see Kellen emerging as a, a, a slashing finisher uh, that uh, we so much have needed over these many years. And with our ability to shoot the three and Kellen's ability to shoot the three, plus Kellen's ability to put it on the floor, uh, it gives us a weapon that's pretty tough to stop. Defensively, I know we talked after the Fordham game, you were happy with the way Davidson defended in that game. What, what is it defensively that you're doing that you really like right now? Well, there are two things that are of, of vital importance. Uh, positioning on the ball, how we have our hands and our feet and the distance we are from the guy with the ball, and then how we're positioned off the ball. Uh, whether we're in the gaps or we're hugging a man too tightly or we're not there to help out. Uh, so I think we're connected. Uh, we got to do a little bit better job of on the ball defense. Sometimes our footwork is not where it should be. Sometimes the extension of our arm is not the way it should be. But you could see signs where guys understand the mistakes they've made and how they're trying to correct them. Your zone has been, you, you really threw a lot of it out there against Fordham. And it was really effective. What are, what are you doing besides, I know you got them trying to have length and everything, but what else is, is going on with that zone? Well, it's a team that uh, can play an effective zone because of their length. Uh, John is 6'4", uh, Kellen's 6'5", Keyshawn's 6'6". Six, six. Those are big guards. And when you have big guards out front, it closes down passing lanes. Uh, what we need to do better is on-the-ball penetration. Uh, the zone sometimes opens up gaps and gives you opportunities to penetrate, and uh, without doubt, that's been a major point of emphasis uh, in practice. Davidson College playing his best basketball of the season. And on uh, Friday night, when Rhode Island comes to town, it'll be senior night. And one of those seniors, Rusty Regal, will meet him when we come back. When my husband fell and landed on his shoulder, the pain was immediate, and my worry was too. He needed to see the right doctor right away. After searching for a doctor that specializes in injuries like my husband's, with hours that are convenient for nights and weekends, we chose the urgent care at Ortho Carolina. I know I made the right decision by taking him to the right place. Ortho Carolina, keeping you close to the things you love.
Hey, Wildcat fans, when it comes to game day, it's all about the food. And Harris Teeter has everything you need. Delicious subs and wraps, fresh hot store-made pizza, crowd-pleasing party platters, or ready-to-serve wing trays, just to name a few. Firing up the grill? Harris Teeter Reserve Angus Beef will be the superstar of your game day meal. We guarantee it. Stop in your Harris Teeter for great savings on game day foods or download the HT app to order ahead. Harris Teeter, where Wildcat fans shop for groceries. Welcome back, everybody, to the Bob McKillop Show, the head basketball coach of the Davidson Wildcats. Friday night, Davidson in Rhode Island, senior night. That's why we bring that up right now. And, Coach, one of your seniors that you will be uh, saying goodbye to in this gym is Rusty Regal. Uh, Rusty uh, wears Davidson on his heart. Uh, his, his family is... Uh, Lifelong uh, Davidson people. Uh, Ernie, of course, had a terrific career as a point guard here. Uh, his brother Will, who was on our staff, also had a terrific career here as one of our captains. Well, Rusty's followed that very, very closely, uh, and uh, I, I couldn't be happier for the kind of playing career that Rusty has had because th there were some doubts when he came out of uh, Charlotte Latin as we moved from the Southern Conference to the A-10. And Rusty has certainly elevated his game by an insatiable work ethic and also with his great love for Davidson. Rusty Regal, his last home game for the Wildcats on Friday night. He sat down with Jerry Latch with this interview. I'm joined now by senior Rusty Regal. And Rusty, we look at your career winding down now, last couple weeks of, of this season. What has this experience been like here at Davidson? It's been, it's been awesome, really. I, I can't really describe it. Like, over the years, you know, growing up, I knew I wanted to come to Davidson. My parents both went here. My brother played here. And it was really a family thing. And being able to come and have Will here and have my parents and my sister and her family be able to come to all the games. And, and uh, my parents have been traveling and coming to the, the road games this year, which has been really special. Them being able to see the end of my career and uh, be able to follow Will as well. So I know I'm going to be coming back a lot once I get done. So we've touched on that dynamic with you and your brother before, him being an assistant coach. Yep. He played here as well, just like your dad. Now that you've been here several years, or he's been in the mix, has that dynamic changed at all in your senior year opposed to maybe a few years ago? Uh, it, it has changed a little bit, and as Will's role has developed and grown, he, he, his first year was the year before I got here, and he was doing stuff, but I think now he's really stepped into more of a helpful, like speaking up in practice a lot, being there in the film room, really talking to guys. And there's times, you know, where we'll butt heads. He'll tell me something on the court that if another assistant said it, I'd probably just say, okay, and move on. But when Will says it, I got to give him a little tough love back. But uh, it, it's worked really well. I've, I've been very happy about it, and I think we both, both love it. Now on the court, highly efficient from the three-point line, 22 of 45, equates to 49%. You've been very selective with those shots. Yeah. Now in the big shot moments, you, you wouldn't shy away from those, do you? No, uh, I, I try not to. If, if, I'm, if I'm open and my feet are set, like Coach says, just make sure you shoot it high. And uh, hopefully it'll fall. And luckily enough, this year they have been falling, more so than the past. And I think I, I really attribute that to Coach you know, just getting on me in the offseason about making sure I'm working on my form. And then one thing that we work on every day is just taking the right shot. So sometimes you got to pass that one up to get a better one. And I'll pass up a lot of shots, um, but I'll end up with some that are, they'll fall. Now back off the court with this group of players, there's a lot of fun personalities, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you know, we've got guys from all over the world, all over the country, and it's, it's really special seeing all these guys from different backgrounds come together and click the way that we do and you know having that Europe trip before the season was really special because you get the freshmen in and they had the summer to get acquainted but that's when you really mesh and this this year's team has just special chemistry that's awesome everybody loves each other everybody's working fighting for each other and I couldn't be happier now basketball in school an absolute grind yes and you almost got through through four years of it have you had time to even think about what you do post Davidson uh, I've had, you know, I have, I look ahead every now and then, and uh, I've got a couple job interviews lined up. I've 
been thinking about if I get the opportunity to play overseas to look into that and see what it would be. You know, I, I'd have to really think about it. But uh, I haven't been focusing on it too much. I'm trying to kind of leave that till after the season. We got that time left, so trying to capitalize on it. Now, one more fun question to ask you as we finish up. Opposing crowds, they enjoy <laughs> yeah. getting on you. Yeah. Is that something you relish in? Uh, I enjoy it a little bit. Sometimes it's a little annoying. Uh, to, to be honest, freshman year when I was sitting on the end of the bench with Manu and Cam, they were doing the same thing. They were calling me out, calling Manu out. And uh, I thought this year when I cut my hair it would end, but it didn't. And uh, it, it's fun. You know, you, you feed off of it, other guys feed off of it, and kind of gives you that little bit of energy. You know, just that extra boost that can help. Well, Rusty, I appreciate talking with you. Good yeah. luck. Thank you. That was Rusty Riggle. We'll take a quick time out and return with more here on the Bob McKillop Show. Pendrick. The road home just got a lot more exciting. With Hendrick BMW's Road Home Sales Event, now is the best time to buy with 0% financing or make no payments for 90 days. Choose from over 900 vehicles, including our entire lineup of American-made sport activity vehicles, like the all-new BMW X3. Plus, all new BMWs come with free scheduled maintenance. Hurry to Hendrick BMW on Independence Boulevard and at the North Lake Auto Mall and HendrickBMW.com. 2,000. We're 2,000 who take shots on the national stage and then to those in need and build education systems and bracket algorithms and drench the food deserts, flip the lectures, save the swamps, and study Blackbeard's booty with a 3D x-ray and biomechanics, atom mechanics, borders, bulbs, and bees and inspire better ways, stronger people, and new ideas relentlessly. Because at Davidson College, we don't just prepare for the world, we prepare to make it better. Tailgating is awesome, unless you spend the whole tailgate waiting on your burger. The Bojangles Big Bow Box has everything you need for a great tailgate party. And none of the cleanup. Grab a Bojangles Big Bow Box and feed the whole group with chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. Bojangles, it's bow time. Welcome back, everybody, to the Bob McKillop Show. Nice to have you with us uh, this evening. Coach, we have some fan questions here that we're going to put to you. Uh, Mike in Washington, D.C. wants to know how much of uh, Grady's improvement has been him developing more confidence and getting experience as opposed to coaches having to call his number. Kellen has a terrific work ethic, so that's a big part of his improvement. Uh, he came here with a tremendous foundation, and that's a tribute to what he did as a high school player and his uh, coach, John Carroll, at Northfield, Mount Hermon. And his attitude has uh, allowed himself to be embraced by the team. Uh, and therefore, he gets his number called because he's proved it, but he's got willing partners in that process, great teammates who are willing to get him the ball. And he seems to consistently capitalize on it every time he does get it. Coach McKillop has summer basketball camps here at Davidson. Young people come in, and Coach uh, Adam in Atlanta wants to know, how important is it for young people, young players that aspire to be college players, to learn the fundamentals early in their life? Uh, that is, without doubt, one of the missing ingredients, I think, in the basketball culture today. Uh, there's a lot of playing, but a not, of, not a lot of learning and uh, players are getting experience at uh, going up and down the court and competing, but I don't think they're getting that same kind of level of understanding of fundamentals as occurred 20, 30 years ago. Uh, I, I can recall working a summer camp uh, 
back in uh, the 1970s. And there was a young boy that would come to that camp as a 9-year-old, 10-year-old, 11-year-old, and he'd bring a notebook with him. And during the lectures and during the station work, uh, he would take notes. And uh, that young boy was Matt Doherty, who became a high school All-American and, of course, went to North Carolina. Uh, so there's a great example of a kind of guy who was a, um, a sponge for information to get better, and he was very fundamentally sound as a player. Coach, one of the things that happens in uh, basketball is part of the deal. Players get critiqued by the media. Uh, coaches get critiqued. Uh, I've watched the, the game closely this year. To me, as a fan, it seems like officiating has been more consistent in the way the game has been called this year than I've seen it in recent years. There seems to be a willingness upon the part of officials to let the game be played, uh, to not have a lot of interruptions with, uh, with foul calls, uh, and I, I think that's really helping the flow of the game, the way the rules are now written, the way the rules are being interpreted by the players and the coaches as we prepare games and strategies, and the way the officials are officiating the game allows for that flow and that rhythm, and that certainly makes it more exciting for the fans. We'll continue on the Bob McKillop Show as another busy week of A-10 basketball for the Wildcats. Tuesday night, St. Bonaventure, that game's on the road. Friday night, Rhode Island right here at Belk Arena. Coach McKillop talks about those things and more right after this. Life. It happens. And sometimes, all you can focus on is the pain. At Ortho Carolina, we want to restore you to a life without the pain. A life where the activities you pursue are no longer hindered. A life where you can freely enjoy and participate in the lives of the people closest to you. Ortho Carolina. You improve. At Lake Norman Infinity, when it comes to supporting the Davidson Wildcats, we don't just put our money where our mouth is, we put your money back in your pocket. That's because all students, faculty, staff, and alumni receive Davidson supporter prices on any new Infinity or pre-owned vehicle. Of course, every Wildcat gets a special welcome and our first-rate customer service. So if we don't see you in the stands as we cheer on the Wildcats, we look forward to seeing you here at Lake Norman Infinity, where Wildcats are welcome. Honoring all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. Every division, every sport, the Learfield Directors' Cup. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us online and on Twitter. The Learfield Directors' Cup. No two people are exactly alike. We wear different clothes. We, we listen, listen to different music. music. We, we like, like different, different food. But we all want to lead healthy lives. And if we're sick or hurt, we want, want expert care. care. Modern miracles with kindness and compassion. So yes, we're all different, but we're all the same. Welcome back, everybody, to the Bob McKillop Show. I'm John Kilgo. Nice to have you with us. Coach, we've talked about the advantages of playing basketball in the A-10 for Davidson. One of the questions I've meant to ask you, what, what, how does it affect recruiting to have A-10 games on national television like you do every week? Our recruits consistently comment to us about uh, what they've seen, the offense we run, where they can fit. And it comes to them in living color because it's on TV so frequently. What an advantage that is instead of us having to uh, inform them and tell them about where they can fit and what the role they would have. Uh, I think it's very apparent that when they see it on TV and they hear the accolades uh, accorded, the, the players we have on our team, they uh, see the constant references to uh, Steph Curry's presence in our program, uh, those things are immeasurable in terms of how they impact in a positive way our recruiting efforts. You have the uh, 
media coverage in some of the largest markets in the country, New York and uh, Pittsburgh and other places, uh, that also has to be a tremendous advantage. Without doubt, the, as you mentioned, the Pittsburgh market, the New York market, the New England market, the Washington DC market, the Philadelphia market, the Ohio market, St. Louis market, uh, Richmond, uh, we're covering a lot of markets that uh, far transcend the regional bounds that once we were restricted to in the Southern Conference. Coach McKillop is a basketball fan as well as a basketball coach. Coach, I find one of the most amazing streaks in the, ever is Bill Self's Kansas Jayhawks winning 14 straight Big 12 championships. In, in a league as competitive as that is, uh, with the pressures that are upon uh, their players and upon Bill and his staff, uh, that's an extraordinary accomplishment, uh, particularly in the world today of social media where those pressures just get more and more intense. And as programs have evolved in the, the Big 12, as, as every program now is uh, a, a viable champion in that league, it makes it even more impressive. A lot of turbulence in college basketball. Coach, as you look at the landscape, what is your, your view of the future of, the ba of college basketball? Clearly leadership is, uh, is what is needed, and that leadership cannot just be uh, leadership uh, by the coaching staffs. Uh, there's got to be leadership on the campus from the presidents. And I'm a big uh, advocate for presidents taking greater control of their athletic departments. I think the president uh, leads through the athletic director. And then, of course, I think leadership from families, uh, uh, parents, uh, high school coaches. I, I think everyone plays their part in this process of being a leader. I, I think that could be a solution to the, the many challenges we currently have. It's such a great game. I know that everybody that loves it wants to protect it. Uh, we, we have reached a point where the game is great. Uh, it's, it's seen as one of the most competitive, thrilling, exciting competitions in the world of sport. And uh, to have it tarnished by uh, some illicit activities and some uh, uh, people who uh, don't have uh, the moral values that uh, are uh, consistent with the way uh, good things are done, um, that's a shame. And, um, we need to address it very, very quickly. Coach McKillop faces a busy week. We said St. Bonaventure Tuesday night, Rhode Island Senior Night on Friday night. We'll talk about those right after this. When my husband fell and landed on his shoulder, the pain was immediate and my worry was too. He needed to see the right doctor right away. After searching for a doctor that specializes in injuries like my husband's, with hours that are convenient for nights and weekends, we chose the urgent care at Ortho Carolina. I know I made the right decision by taking him to the right place. Ortho Carolina, keeping you close to the things you love. Hey, Wildcat fans, when it comes to game day, it's all about the food. And Harris Teeter has everything you need. Delicious subs and wraps, fresh hot store-made pizza, crowd-pleasing party platters, or ready-to-serve wing trays, just to name a few. Firing up the grill? Harris Teeter Reserve Angus beef will be the superstar of your game day meal. We guarantee it. Stop in your Harris Teeter for great savings on game day foods, or download the HT app to order ahead. Harris Teeter, where Wildcat fans shop for groceries. Hendrick. The road home just got a lot more exciting. With Hendrick BMW's road home sales event, now is the best time to buy with 0% financing or make no payments for 90 days. Choose from over 900 vehicles, including our entire lineup of American-made sport activity vehicles, like the all-new BMW X3. Plus, all new BMWs come with free scheduled maintenance. Hurry to Hendrick BMW on Independence Boulevard and at the North Lake Auto Mall and HendrickBMW.com. When my hair gets too long, I lose my edge. But when my cut's right, I'm right. I'm back to being me. My dimples activate. My cleft chin becomes cleftier. I get a twinkle on my tooth. And I speak fluent French. 
Garbage, Chase Lounge, Mayonnaise. Au revoir. Get in, get out, back to greatness. Download the online check-in app. Great clips. It's going to be great. Welcome back, everybody. Coach Bob McKillop with you talking basketball. And Coach, Tuesday night, you jump right back into it. On the road, St. Bonaventure in a huge A-10 game. Uh, very challenging environment. Um, they have an outstanding uh, team. Uh, they're knocking on the door of an at-large bid. Um, they're led by what is arguably one of the best backcourts in the country. Um, They'll mix up zone, and they'll mix up man. Um, they're incredibly aggressive offensively, but equally aggressive defensively. And if you look at their statistics from the year, uh, there's a parallel between us and them in terms of scoring power and defensive uh, capability. And uh, so it'll be a highly competitive game. You beat them here, so both sides will maybe tweak just a little bit what happened at Davidson. Uh, without doubt, the, the film reveals a lot of our strengths and weaknesses, both St. Bonnie's and us, but realize we've played a lot of games since then, and we've made adjustments, and we've built upon strengths, and hopefully eliminated weaknesses. So it'll be two competitive teams uh, as they've gone through the season, trying to get better and better, and uh, trying to earn postseason op opportunities. Friday night, Rhode Island, senior night. Coach, and senior night always... Uh is an interesting occasion here at Davidson. Yeah, and we have uh, D-Block actually coming in, uh, having a reunion. So uh, we're hopeful that with the uh, national TV audience and senior night and uh, the re reunion of the D-Block people that uh, we'll have a terrific crowd. It's so important that we have a great crowd. I know uh, we'll have one at St. Bonaventure's on Tuesday when we played up at Rhode Island. Uh, their crowd was, uh, was uh, electric. So we need that same kind of atmosphere here Friday night in Belk Arena. One of those seniors, of course, uh, had a milestone of his own. Peyton Aldridge went over the 2,000-point mark last week against Fordham, Coach. How would you like to start that team? Uh, Peyton, uh, John Gertie, uh, Jack Gibbs, uh, Fred Hetzel, and uh, Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you giving the ball to? <laughs> That'd be a pretty good team, huh? <laughs> Absolutely a good team. Well, Coach, it's, uh, it's been an interesting season. It's been a great season for Davidson. A lot of basketball left, but this is our last uh, television show, so we just wanted to say that it's always a joy to work with you, Coach. Well, I'm thrilled that uh, we had this opportunity and uh, thankful that uh, our fans are so engaged with us that uh, – our team, our program, our players are important to them, and uh, let's hope that we uh, have a great finish uh, to the season this week and then uh, excited about conference tournament time in Washington, D.C. next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a very pleasant off-season.